Is your skin so dry that you have resorted to using snail mucus on your skin? What's wrong with dry skin? I don't use any moisturizers and I look great. Well, some of us can get away with not using any moisturizers, but some of us need the help. So if you have mature skin, um, or you're over 40, or you naturally have dry skin, then you need to have more of these ingredients in your moisturizer. So like all moisturizers, or most moisturizers, they usually have the highest amount on the top of the ingredients list. If you look at your moisturizer, it is going to be a humectant. And a lot of the times it's going to be glycerin, which draws moisture from the air to your skin. Now, if you're living in a very arid climate, then what's gonna happen is because there's not enough environmental moisture, it can draw moisture if you have very little of it from the dermis up into the epidermis. So you have to be careful with that, but you still need some humectants. Now what's different with moisturizers for dry skin is, dry skin can actually get away with using um, salves or body balms, um, skin balms, things like that, which may have little to no water in their ingredients list and have it be mostly made up of oils and lipids. Because guess what? With mature skin or dry skin, that is what you're lacking. You're not really lacking that much moisture unless you're living in an arid climate. You're lacking more lipids in your skin. So when your skin is lacking the lipids and the oils, then it's, it's natural to see cracks um, in the skin. So typically uh, skin conditions such as eczema or psoriasis, you see a lot of that cracking and that is because they're lacking ceramides in their skin. So a mature skin or lipid poor skin, actually, yes, they do need some humectants, but they really need to concentrate on using moisturizers that are heavier in emollients and occlusive agents. These improve skin's texture, such as the skin's smoothness, softness, and suppleness. Supple, supple, is that a weird word? That is a weird word. Supple, suppleness. Emollients can actually help with fatty acid production in your skin and protect your skin from the environment um, by creating kind of a barrier between the environment and your skin. So some of the examples of emollients can be fatty alcohols, fatty acids, ceramides, cholesterol, um, and even occlusive agents. So dry skin actually needs more fatty emollients, such as castor oil, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, octosterate, and it actually needs a lot more occlusive agents to keep the moisture and the emollients sitting on top of the skin. What oily skin types need to avoid, dry and mature skin actually needs more of, and this includes vegetable waxes, vegetable waxy esters, and phospholipids such as lecithin. Now I'm gonna show you some textures of what the texture can look like and feel like when you have these types of ingredients. Level one is a lotion. So CeraVe has a similar texture, kind of like this right here. Um, and the second ingredient is glycerin, which is a humectant. And it also has, it's a, it has a fatty alcohol. It also has a balance of occlusive agents, petroleum, ceramides, and cholesterol. So this definitely would not be recommended for somebody who has oily or breakout prone skin. Level two would be more of a cream like this. So that's good for post recovery. And the one I recommend is the um, post-treatment cream. And that one is really good for laser, post-peel, post-surgical. It has a good balance of humectants, emollients, and an occlusive agent that typically is not breakout prone or comedogenic, and that's squalene. And that has the texture more actually in between these two right here. Now, the next one is a balm. So balms typically can be anhydrous, which means without water. So a lot of times if you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient is water. When you use a balm, a lot of times they won't even have water in it. They'll just have a blend of different oils. So it'll have this like waxy type of texture. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's kind of greasy almost. And so an example of this would be uh, pharmacy honey all-in-one repair salve. So the first ingredient is actually sunflower oil. So sunflower oil is really beneficial 
um, to skin that is lipid poor. It's very rich in vitamin E, keeps skin moisturized for a longer period of time, good for eczema. It's high in linoleic acid and protects against bacteria and germs. Um, another one is castor seed oil, um, which is in the pharmacy. And it looks like it is an anhydrous formulation. So water is not included. So this one is more fluid, but it's actually an oil. So if you don't like the texture of something like this, this waxy type of texture, you can actually, so it's more fluid, but it has more fatty acids in it. And it's, um, this one actually has what's called dry emollient, so it doesn't feel oily or greasy. So you can add that for your skincare. So drier skin actually benefits more uh, with a sunscreen moisturizer combination versus just a sunscreen, especially if you tend to use a mineral-based sunscreen and it has a high amount of zinc oxide because zinc oxide actually can absorb oil and that could tend to dry out skin. So if you can use one that is a sunscreen moisturizer combination, that would be a better uh, fit for dry skin. So as you can see here, besides the oil that's dripping here, most of the products that are for oil or lipid poor skin, it actually kind of stays put. It doesn't have enough water besides the oil. My oil keeps dripping here. So this is a good example of some of the moisturizers that you can use for dry skin because dry skin needs more lipids, you know, needs more fatty acids in their skin. They need some moisture. So here is my pro tip for dry skin. You still need moisture, so the best thing to do is exfoliate your skin first, then use a hydrating mist so that your skin has a lot of water, water content on your skin, and then while your skin is still wet, then apply a hydrating serum, and then while your still skin is wet from the serum, apply that occlusive agent on top of your skin. So for more tips on hydrating the skin or you have dry skin, then make sure you catch this playlist on hydrating the skin because remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.